Hello again. Welcome to this very short video. In this video I want to introduce you to Open Zeppelin. When you are an experienced web free or blockchain developer, I'm pretty sure you already heard a lot about this company because they are awesome. They are providing uh, cool tools, frameworks and also ready to use smart contracts for your distributed applications. And they are also providing security audits uh, in the second place, but uh, they are really well known for offering tools and frameworks for developers. So for example, when you go to products and then hit contracts here, you have an introductionary page where they tell you what they're offering here. Uh, when you go to get started, you will be forwarded to docs.openzeppelin.com uh, with all the documentation for all the tools and all the contracts they are um, offering here. So for example, here is uh, a short overview, how you install it, how you make use of it. And uh, to the left, there is a you know, menu where you can navigate through the different you know, token standards and also some smaller tools uh, that you can make use of. So for example, when you are trying to build your own NFT contract, um, it's really recommended to make use of the uh, ESC721 standard here. So not only the standard, but also the implementation behind it, because they implemented the standard and uh, providing you a ready to use contract that you have to slightly adopt in, in your own contract. So you derive from this contract and adapt a few things, and then you are ready to go with your own NFT contract. And it's really recommended to do so because Open Zeppelin is providing battle tested, uh, audited and very well used contracts. So a lot of people and projects are building up on these contracts. And so there's a lot of trust in this, yeah, in this contract, in the source code that nothing happens, uh, nothing bad happens. And yeah, you can, you can do the same or you should do the same because, uh, reinventing the wheel is no good idea, especially not when it comes to security. And, uh, for this, it's very important to make use of very well tested things. So for example, when you go up and hit GitHub link here, you will be forwarded to their repository or repositories in this case. But when you go to this open Zeppelin contract repository, then you see in contracts, you see several folders for stuff they are providing. So for example, when you go to token and then go to ESC 721, then you see an implemented version so you can make use of this version and override a few things that you need to do for your own project. Um, you can also make use of an interface and also of course other stuff. So there's, they have ERC-20, uh, ERC-777, ERC-1155 uh, um, but they also have other stuff. So for example for security they offer a possible uh, modifier basically so you can make use of pausing your functions or your contracts. Um, you can prevent re-entrancy. Um, what else is interesting? Access, for example, there is an ownable modifier basically again. So you can say which address can operate on which functions, for example, very easily with this without needing to implement it on your own. And uh, you can go through this and also, of course, this uh, document section I showed you before on the Open Zeppelin page and learn everything about it and also have a look at how they are implemented it and yeah so that you really are well prepared for your contracts when when you build distributed applications for your clients uh, it's really important to have security and on top of your mind because uh, it's always about a lot of funds um, reputation of course and you don't want to mess up everything here so um, really make use of open zeppelin and um, make yeah make use of it as much as possible because they are as i said a, a few times already they are tested they are well uh, used and they really know what they are doing in the last few seconds i want to show you how you can make use of it so uh, i'm pretty sure you also know remix it's a uh, web browser based ide uh, where you can uh, develop Solidity code. And here I already have implemented or imported this ESC721 standard, or not only the standard, but also the implementation. And I now say, okay, my own NFT contract is an ESC721. So this one from Open Zeppelin. I had over a few parameters, so the name and the token symbol. And then I can, or at least I need to implement 
two functions, so the mint function, um, which is basically making the mint of this NFT, as the name uh, suggests, and a base URI function because you need to override also the uh, resource identifier for your uh, metadata and also with this then the images, for example, if it's an um, image-based NFT. And yeah, so this is basically it. So you can make use of use of uh, ERC721 standard and implementation from Open Zeppelin, override a few things and you're ready to go. And when you say, for example, you want to add another functionality, let's say uh, set mint price, because when I quickly go through this, um, I have a constructor with that is receiving a mint price and this mint price is then set. And of course for mint, this mint price is checked so that the message sender is transferring enough ether to this. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't be, pos wouldn't be uh, possible to mint. And when you say, for example, you want to implement a new function, set mint price, and you want to make uh, only the owner be able to call it, then you can implement something like in the constructor, you get the message sender that is um, deploying this contract. Then you check it here in a require statement if it's the owner. But you can do easier, as I showed you. Uh, Open Zeppelin have this access and ownable solidity file here so and this contract basically implements a modifier so only only the owner can do something and there's also a event that is trans uh, um, emitted when an ownership transfer happens so what you can basically basically do is you can copy this URL you can uh, add an import statement here and import this ownable contract say that your contract is now an ownable contract yeah and then you can go to this set mint price and say that only the owner is allowed to call it and with this simple adoptions here you have also reached the same thing that I've uh, told you before so that when you head over this message or sender to this constructor or in this constructor and make a require statement here you have uh, developed the same with now making use of open zeppelin's stuff here so this was a very simple example how you can make use of open zeppelin um, and i really recommend you to head over to this repository and also to the documentation pages and learn all the stuff and you know, test it out, try it out and build your projects for your clients also, or also for yourself uh, as much as possible on Open Zeppelin. So I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more tips and tricks on Solidity, on blockchain, on Web3 and all those stuff. See ya!